Hey everyone, welcome to this daily Sidero Astrology forecast for Monday, April 6, 2020. All right, so today we are approaching a full moon, which will be tomorrow and Wednesday. So we certainly are in the heightened phase of the lunar cycle. Good to maybe start to do a status check and maybe see what awareness or things might be culminating here, uh, this heightened part of the lunar month. So with this, the moon is going to be shifting from expressive Leo into more grounded and analytical Virgo, which is where we're going to have the full moon. So as the day unfolds, we may start to notice it's a good time to develop more of our improvement oriented side, maybe striving towards work or service. Uh, this kind of more creating of structures and facilitating things uh, can be a great way of working with this upcoming full moon. So with this going into tomorrow's full moon, we also have Mars square Uranus. So there could be maybe some erratic energy where we're wanting to break free. We could be feeling maybe a bit restless or there's some changes we want to induce. So good to bring some healthy conscious uh, attention to this so that we can take action in a way that is uh, mindful and still in a way that maybe can disrupt some things in healthy and constructive ways. All right, so let's take a look at all of this here in more detail when I return. All right, so here's the sky for this Monday. And again, we are using the actual size of the constellations called True Sidereal Astrology. If you are new to the channel, definitely check out that link down below for more information. All right, so today the most important thing is that we are approaching this full moon, which will be late tomorrow for most of us and going into Wednesday for most of us. So uh, we are certainly in the heightened phase of the lunar month now. And usually during full moons, it's a good time to do a status check. How has the past two weeks been going? Are there any things that we're becoming aware of that we may want to make some shifts and changes with? So great to maybe start to get into that kind of status check, awareness and momentum building uh, phase here of the lunar month. <clears throat> so with this, we do <clears throat> have the uh, moon shifting from Leo into more pragmatic Virgo. So uh, the past couple days maybe have been placing more of a theme around self-expression, but um, going into the full moon will likely be uh, setting themes around improvement, right? Virgo is about, is about creating that improvement um, environment uh, for our life, which could be good for work or service, personal development, uh, but also creating, you know, a facilitative environment for others. Virgo is about service and, and work on that level and improving things uh, for others as well. So really good to get in touch with this more grounded, pragmatic improvement side of ourself here with the moon shifting into Virgo, Virgo, where we will have this upcoming full moon. So today, the most important thing with the aspects is that as we do get into tomorrow, we do have uh, Mars starting to square up to Uranus. So this is Mars, the planet of our drives and needs and desires in a challenging aspect to Uranus, the side of ourself that wants freedom, change, and wants to, you know, maybe challenge the status quo or our own status quo. So uh, good to do this in conscious ways because the square can sometimes bring a bit of an imbalance with these planets where maybe sometimes uh, with Mars <clears throat> and Uranus, we can be a bit rash, maybe impulsive, maybe want to break free of things, uh, which is good to do, but we want to make sure we're doing that in constructive ways because Uranus is calling us to have more freedom in our life, maybe induce some changes, maybe disrupt disrupt some things, but to do so in a way that's constructive. So as the day unfolds, if you are feeling a bit of that bubbling up or pressure cooker kind of energy or maybe nervous or anxious, um, anything more erratic like that with Uranus, um, good to channel it and it can actually be a very constructive time going into the full moon to induce change, right? What are some things that will lead to more freedom in our life? Um, how can we healthfully disrupt some things and listen to that true self, which uh, we can certainly implement here this part of the week. So that's going to be increasing as the day unfolds. And um, again, as we approach that full moon. All right, we do have a kite forming here today. We do have some trines and the oppositions with the moon. The moon will be opposing up to Mercury. And with Mercury recently in Pisces, I think it's important to balance this improvement orientation, which is the more work and structure energies of Virgo with more of the receptive qualities of Pisces, right? Virgo and Pisces are oppositions. Uh, we can't have good work and doing energy without good 
receptivity and being energy. And this will also be playing a big role for the full moon as the sun is in Pisces, again, incorporating that balance of action, inaction, work and rest, doing, being a really good way of uh, preluding to this full moon. <clears throat> we also have trines up to uh, Mars and Saturn. So we could, even though Mars is in a bit of that Uranus erratic energy, we could feel some support where maybe we're feeling a bit direct assertive here today. And then also a trine up to Venus in Taurus. So maybe some synergy in those relationships and enjoyments of life. But that's definitely more minor in the larger context. The most important thing today is that as the day unfolds, good for seeing how we can induce healthy change, healthy freedom, healthy listening to that true self in terms of how we're taking action and asserting ourselves and the full moon as we approach tomorrow great to do the status check how have things been going the past couple weeks maybe there's, there's some things we'll make some shifts and changes with and there could even be some harvest or some culmination of some of these matters and uh, most importantly collectively is how can we start to implement some of this grounded virgo energy of being improvement oriented and in its highest expression, creating a facilitative environment for ourselves and others. All right, so everyone have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow for the full moon forecast. Take care.